toothbrush if we talk about you know when i was a kid definitely that time i never seen uh, after i say or 5 or 6 years or 10 years old i started using a toothbrush yes. very normal toothbrush that time and i never seen that soft and all those things so we used to have that i'm from kerala so it is called umikri so that rice balance that from there they used to make and we used to mm. brush our teeth but today there are n number of possibilities for people to select hundreds of varieties of brushes and in my hand there is such a beautiful brush and i'm sure that every kid is going to pick this up <laughs> now why i'm showing this is you may know the brand which is selling these brushes but you don't know the people who are behind actually making small small pots and create for helping them to create small parts and they make molds and today in this exclusive uh, podcast uh, what we are airing from Diane Mold India 2024 organized by Tagma Shape Shifters the untold story of manufacturing i am having with me Arvind Chawla an industry expert who is known for everyone in the indian uh, tool makers he have given lot of solutions to the tool makers and today he himself is a tool maker yes <laughs> so recently they have opened up inaugurated a massive uh, facility in coimbatore welcome to the podcast thank you very much so it is great to see this uh, product yeah. and i am also happy when we are talking about tool making in india so we are going away from little bit of automotive otherwise we talk more about automotive so what is the role a tool maker plays in bringing a product like this a just a toothbrush see whenever we talk about tool making the normal concept starts with our household products with what we see day to day life from our kitchen or in our bathrooms or in in our gardens then it starts when with the cars then automotive but every segment whatever we are having the plastic is touching our life and uh, what we discussed that the plastic is required to be handled very carefully if we use plastic in in a proper way it will be a blessings to us otherwise it can be reversed now toothbrush what you are showing me it's a simple piece of plastic which is having some filaments in that and filaments are endowed by the the proper technologies so it will not hurt your gums but for making the toothbrush lot of technologies involved right from the design concept the ergonomics or how you are holding the toothbrush in your hand where your thumb will touch where your tail of toothbrush will touch your hand all these things are designs concepts and then we have to make the uh, tooling out of that in the tooling the critical part is the parting lines because it is going inside your mouth so the precision of tools is very important the accuracy of the machining is very important and that's how the tool making the skill level of tool making comes in the picture so you are telling that if a mold what you are making to make this particular toothbrush yeah. is not the surface finish is not that great yeah. there is a chance there can be a default in this toothbrush and we can get that you know cut in our mouth yes. is that a possibility yes yes, yes. so safety also is needs to be safety. taken from the safety. design level safety is very very much important maybe at the moment in, uh, in the asian country it is not so sensitive but in uh, european countries or in us places or the kids to the are very sensitive one small sharp edge can hit uh, can cut the gum and the bleeding can come and that will be a very very uh, different case in other than uh, maybe india but now the market is very sensitive and people are looking for quality and making those parting lines very proper you need to have some skill level of a tool maker skill level of the machinist and skill level of polisher guy so the real tool making skill we can see in the in the product which you are using daily maybe without knowing that it is so complicated no i just want to ask you so i know that you are a tool maker from india yes but uh, when i see the complexity of these kind of products the plastic products yeah. is it that we are uh, having the capability to produce these kind of molds in india or is it still imported those molds were imported earlier but now we can make those molds in india the the skill level of indian tool maker is is increased drastically in last few decades and i i don't think any any tool which made in anywhere else cannot be made here so we we have achieved 90 to 95% i can say all the tools can be made in india 
if we get the proper technology from the direct from the part from initial stage to design it better and then uh, proper steel which is not really readily available but still it is we can arrange it and we can do the all the skills so you told a couple of things in this discussion one you spoke about how we should manage plastics it is yeah. not the plastics is the problem it is how we manage plastics is important one yes yes, yes. use and throw I, i i don't like this word you should not throw in any form you should sell it use and sell once you sell the plastic there will never be a wastage because the person who is buying it he will definitely going to use it for some other product and and you told about you like you know throwing and today people can uh, reuse it right you know yeah. i have a friend if yeah. i tell his name is manish kotari he is a box in the foundry you know he makes sand molding machines and all those things so the biggest problem with these foundries even in coimbatore there are so many foundries, foundries are there, are there yes. so the sand which comes out is a dust sand dust is uh, a big trouble for yes. the industry and he came out with a particular machine which combines this plastic sand sand okay so i completely agree that the plastic should be reused yes refurbished and it should not be thrown out but i think in the industry also for these kind of products to make they also use re uh plastic which is which is reused right recycled See, reduce reuse and recycle these are the three r's for plastic and see i don't think any better material than plastic is possible for mankind in the this stage it is not very costly you can use it in any weather if you are tired using one product you crush it melt it put it in some other product normally lot of black products in automobile can be used fully recycle you can make shoe soles of the further into recycle okay and at the end we can still make the plastic roads you know plastic can be mixed in a tar which is a weather temperature resistant and it can withstand your sunlight in the extreme weather temperatures and your quality of the finish of the roads are better so plastic is why plastic is bad the, the people who are not understanding how to use the plastic are bad throwing is bad even we have seen throwing should be stopped plastic should not be thrown that is a crime but you spoke about uh, you know the recycled plastics yeah. so those uh, very thin plastics which government banned those kind of plastics also can be recycled and brought in for or there is certain class of plastics are there which we need for uh, this kind of uh, our our business for our business see segregation of plastic after use is very important if plastic is mixed with too much of uh, different different plastics or food grades then it go in a waste which which is very difficult for a person to segregate it but if thin plastic also after use kept in a proper way lot of thin plastic kept inside one plastic bottle was a plastic brick there was a concept i saw uh, some campaigning was going on that make plastic brick and what they were using that whatever polythene bags you are having just put inside one plastic bottle and when it is heavy you can sell it and that can be melted and somehow it can be used but if a thin plastic is kept with some food and some animal is eating or some uh, dust when it is going inside those things are very difficult you will be amazed to know that there are some recycled plastic we are still importing we we have more requirement of recycled plastic than you will because it's low in cost but we don't have proper recycling or proper segregation method but india is producing india is 145 crore people one of the largest uh, we are creating waste world. we create waste <laughs> and you are telling that you need to get recycled plastic imported yeah. why can't we have the that uh, capabilities in in india yeah. because maybe plastic is uh, too less cost so people are not valuing it otherwise so, if if the plastic bottles or caps if they are segregated properly and crushed then we we can use it we can use it we can so again i believe this is a great opportunity that there are manufacturers who are looking at recycled uh, good yes. quality plastics yes. good quality if, if we can set up a plant and you, and i think raw material comes free of course yes or even for a very pinch of time maybe people will give you awards for taking all these plastics and put it back any, in use any dark color thick component which is uh, not functionally important can be produced by recycled plastic sir when we are talking about import now i am going to the next level where you are talking about also the steels which is used for mold making yes now we don't have that capability but india is the second largest uh, country in the world producing steel and metals you know so why why we are not able to bring that uh, self reliance in uh, steel making 
for uh, dyes and molds. See, dye and molds, uh, we need some specific grades. We, the, the chemical composition of those grades are very critical to get some specific strength or polishability or hardenability. So those type of technic, technology is still missing. We, the, the steel what is produced here is uh, far less than the utilization what we have now at the moment. And the steel whatever we are getting is coming uh, from European countries Europe. Uh, and because they have foundries, maybe the raw material we are sending them and they are making so the steel out it, of that. It's that basically really the chemical which makes it more uh, stronger? No, it's the chemical composition of steel which we want very specific. So uh, all forged steel cannot be used at our mold steel. You served tool makers for a very long time, yes. right? And what is it that you think some of the major challenges tool makers are facing in India? Tool makers, uh, the quality of uh, skill or the quality of tool makers is, in, is definitely better from the previous days. I like I started almost 30 years back. At that time, there were very less technical institutes where I can go through a, a course, diploma or degree for a plastic engineering course. In that case, definitely we have increased, but the hand skill or the practical knowledge is going down. I still uh, know people who are working 15 to 20 years as a tool maker, but now recently, if you see two or three years, people switch the job. They want to become supervisors. Everybody who learned the technology is not working with his hands. So the tool maker is again the person who is non-qualified or non-educated. That is a pity. The people who have technical knowledge and who know the skill should work, at least train the next team. Becoming supervisor is a bad concept here. As I was in a German company for last 15 years in a, in a managing director position, I know whenever I used to visit the other plants, the people are proudly say they are tool maker. Since 30 years I am a tool maker. But if you say here I am tool maker for 30 years, they will say, oh, you didn't get any promotion. <laughs> so that concept should go, the designer and tool maker should get the same salary. So tool making should be a proud feeling job, not a forceful or a leftover for other reasons. The CAD CAM, the computer knowledge is good. People can make a good program, people can make a good software knowledge, but if they don't know what is the requirement of end product, how they can design. And if the machinist is not aware of what is the end product requirement, how he can do the value addition in the machining. So it's a chain. So I think you need four or five years for learning. After that, if you work for four or five years, then the chain will start changing. And the salary of tool maker should be as the salary of designer, then this problem will be resolved fast. Maybe more. Maybe more. Why? Because uh, working with metals and understanding the metals. Yes. And then, as I told you, seeing a mold and understanding this is the perfect uh, polishing or this is the perfect surface finish yes. or not, uh, how much uh, the automation can help till a level. Yes. But yes. the final, that that is a tool maker's uh, speciality. That ability. is tool maker's speciality. And I think that is an art. That's a creativity what uh, a person can bring to the table. I am not uh, denying the fact that every uh, profession has... Uh, Mr. Chawla told that have the dignity and I think the tool makers definitely they are our strength Yes. Uh, to make those kind of because things are changing. We see a simple brush, it's a complex work. Yes. <laughs> our cars and our two wheelers are becoming, I must say, I must say that you know, like a fashion show. Wow. So it is becoming more sexier yes. so that you know the curves and by that curves you cannot get hurt and it should shine. And all those things come with that mold a tool maker is making. Now whatever you can think you can produce, it is coming closer and closer. So I believe the kind of work even what Tagma is doing in this is amazing. People like you with your expertise and when you are coming, I think there is a change happening and I think how we are able to compete <laughs> in the globe. The tool makers of yeah. India, if you consider competing with the other countries, how you put Indian tool makers comparing with the other global players? See, the, the books what we have on tool making are same in India, Japan, Germany, US. Everybody is reading the same theoretical knowledge. The problem is in implementation. So, 
as my personal experience i have exported to europe many tools with my indian team and the end customer was very happy so we can produce whatever is required to be produced performance the persistence that is the problem and i think there is a long way to go as you told that you know the dignity as well as uh, bringing new talent to the uh, tool making industry you know that is also a big challenge yes, i think yes. uh, uh, tagma is also going and trying to build a so training tagma, center with tagma we, we are working on a skill development program wherein we can catch the young guys early and in the college itself we introduce the practical experience what they need before they come to industry they should know what industry wants from them so then the gap will be reduced and definitely the quality of uh, the people or engineers are becoming better and better thank you very much for sharing your time because it was a great insight uh, what uh, we got from you by this discussion and we would love to talk to you more and more in the coming days and uh, here we sign off from 13 dye and mold uh, india exhibition 2024 from bombay exhibition center goregaon thank you very much